Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to construct cumulative frequency polygon for a frequency distribution obtained from a set of raw data by using SPAS. First, we must get to know what are the minimum and the maximum values for this set of data. Instead of analyzing the data, we can click on Transform, look for visual pinning, Move the variable to variables to pin. Click on continue and we should be able to know the minimum and the maximum values. I'm going to use 140 to 200. Click cancel and proceed to transform the data from raw to group. Click on transform. Look for recruit into different variables. Move the variable of interest to input variable. Rename the variable we can simply use x remember shouldn't use space when we name and for the labor we can use upper boundary since this is cumulative frequency polygon click on change and proceed to all and new values i'm going to use range start from the minimum value 140 if we want to use a class width of 10, suppose we should stop at 150 as the class boundary. However, recall that this is less than cumulative, which means that we should take a number that is slightly smaller than this. We should take one decimal place which is more than the original data. The data all in terms of integers, so we are going to take one decimal point, which is 149.9 and the value we should use upper boundary since this is cumulative frequency polygon click on add and proceed to the next number 150 to 159.9 upper boundary 160 add 160 to 169.9 upper boundary 170 at 170, 179.9, 180, at 180, 189.9, 190, at 190, 199.9, upper boundary, 200, at, done. Continue, OK, and we should be able to obtain the new data set. Move to variable view and we can decrease the decimal points to zero since all integers. And now we should proceed to constructing the cumulative frequency polygon. Click on graphs, look for legacy dialogs, click on line, simple, define, Move the variable upper boundary to category asset. And we should use cumulative frequency. This is cumulative frequency polygon. Click on titles. In the graph, if you think that the name is too long, we can make use of this second line. Click on continue, click on OK, and we should be able to obtain the cumulative frequency polygon that we want. However, as we can see, the graph doesn't start from zero, which is different from what we usually draw manually. To overcome this issue, we can double click the graph, add labels, and we should transfer all the points to data view. We have 27 of them, 4 on 150. Transfer this points to data view so we have 150 with 27 of them if you want to change the number format go to variable view decrease to zero and this is upper boundary we can label as upper boundary and this is the cumulative frequency which is cumulative frequency. Transfer the next point. We have 313 on 160. Transfer 
160 with 313 of them and so for the rest of the points for the minimum value 140 we should use a number that's near to zero but not zero because SPS will ignore zero so what we have to do here we can put 0 0.000001 which is small enough but not zero after transferring all the points the next step is go to total weight cases weight cases by cumulative frequency click on ok and proceed to construct the graph graphs legacy dialogues line simple define reset move the variable of interest which is upper boundary to category assets we use end of cases since we already weighted the case using cumulative frequency click on titles and name the chart click on continue click on ok and we should obtain the correct cumulative frequency polygon which starts from zero double click on the chart double click on the values of the y asset move to scale remove the lower margin change to zero apply and we should obtain a nice cumulative frequency polygon and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching have a like this see you